Hi, Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. Here we are in the Xantrex corner of the Pacific Yacht Systems booth. And what I'm trying to, well not trying, what I'm trying to demonstrate here is the Freedom XC2000 inverter charger. Uh, first you'll notice how light this looks. Um, relatively not bad. This is a high frequency inverter and much lighter than a true sine wave. They're both two sine wave, but this is a low frequency inverter, this is a high frequency inverter. What that means is that this inverter is going to be what, how we would recommend it is for users that don't need an inverter but want an inverter. If you absolutely need an inverter and your boat is a heavy user of AC power and continuous, then we'll definitely recommend a low frequency, more so robust, um, and definitely almost double the price. Um, also Xantrax inverter charger. But if you're sort of, I want an inverter, I don't need one, and I'm gonna use it sort of intermittently, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I might use some loads, but I, it's not a must-have item, then you know what, this is definitely worth considering. The cost of entry is half of the low-frequency inverter charger. Pretty light, compact, as you can see. I mean, it's very narrow. Uh, this is actually a 2,000 watt inverter. It's practically half the size of the bigger one. It comes with an 80 amp charger. So we install a lot of boats, sailboats, even smaller power boats, uh, where they don't need a large inverter. We'll end up putting this on board. It's gonna be great for charging the batteries. Remember, an inverter charger is a single output device. So it can only charge one battery bank. If you have multiple battery banks, you're gonna to have to install the Echo Charge, a Xantrax product, or a battery, another battery combiner could be um, a Blue Seas automatic combiner relay, or a BEP a voltage sense relay. Regardless, they're all different type of battery combiners, and it's a way for you to share a charge from one battery to multiple batteries. Um, they come with a remote display that looks identical to this, so you don't need the remote. If the inverter is mounted in a really appropriately, uh, easily accessible location, you can do everything from here, or you can do everything from a remote location with this exact sort of display. Uh, straightforward to install. Uh, make sure you read the manual. I can't stress this enough. Uh, having been invited, and I thank everyone for bringing me on board their boat, thousands of boats, I'd say that probably less than 1% of inverters are properly installed. And that's the challenge is the manual. Um, it's thick, it's intimidating, and most people don't take the time to read them. If you follow the manual uh, to the letter, you'll have a properly and safely installed inverter. If you don't, um, then what's gonna happen is you're just not gonna realize certain steps that you missed. It's, doing an inverter is not something you just wanna do. You wanna actually do it, you wanna do it properly, and the way to do it properly is to educate yourself. And by doing that, you read the manual. Few things to highlight. Notice there's a chassis ground here connection. That's often overlooked. Most people don't end up having the chassis ground. Um, also making sure that the right cable sizes are connected to an inverter charger, right? So there's gonna be a table and you wanna follow ABYC's recommendations in terms of cable sizing for voltage drop and ampacity. Um, and then you wanna make sure that you have a switch to be able to turn on and off a service disconnect switch, like a big manual switch, like it looks like a battery switch, and also fuse. You wanna make sure that this inverter charger is also fused at the source of power, the batteries. And obviously you need an AC breaker coming into the device. Uh, there needs to be a circuit breaker for this device. So this is the XC2000. Uh, they also make this in a 1000 and they also make a true just inverter in 3000. Now I've heard rumors that they're coming out with an XC3000 as well. So that means that you're gonna have a high frequency inverter in 1000 watt, 2000 watt and 3000 watt. And this is actually the size of the 1000 watt over here. So if you've got further questions on the XC line of inverter chargers or tips, we've got articles on our website on how to do it yourself install in our monthly column called Tech Talk. And you can actually look in the search engine on our website and find those articles about installing an inverter on your boat by yourself and doing it properly. Thanks for watching.